Hi, hello everyone. This is Shanmugaraj. Welcome to my channel. One of the aims of this channel is to build a global knowledge sharing platform in the domains of leadership, agile and project management. You can join me and help me with that either by subscribing to this channel and sharing my videos to our friends. Right. So having said that, let us get into today's video. Currently, we are discussing some of the leadership ideas from MID Sloan School of Management. So today's topic is seven MID Sloan ventures that are driving prosperity in emerging markets. So this particular article has been published June 12th, 2024. So why does it matter uh, from professional educational courses to mobile apps that monitor crap yields? These startups aim to kickstart innovation ecosystems across the globe. 15 years ago, the Legatum Center for Development and Entrepreneurship at MIT opened with a mission of using entrepreneurship and innovation to drive prosperity in the emerging markets around the world. The center has supported more than 300 student fellows and 23 foundry fellows established entrepreneurs who participate in an eight-month program geared toward building innovation ecosystems to drive economic growth, right? So this center's 15-year impact report highlighted seven successful fellow-founded ventures that are paving a way for next generation. So we're going to talk about those seven successful ideas. The first venture we're going to talk about is Great Learning. So Great Learning is an educational technology company founded in 2013. It offers a range of professional and higher education courses on topics like artificial intelligence and machine learning, digital marketing and management. The second idea our venture was Max. Max was founded in 2015, a Nigeria focused Max offers a variety of solutions for transportation problems. It offers a framework that helps commercial drivers obtain vehicle financing, licensing, insurance, and ownership. So Max also connects businesses like restaurants with delivery drivers, and the company has a fleet of electric bikes and cars to encourage the adoption of low emissions transportation. M-Dash -Dash started out as a medical device as a service company, helping communities across Africa. But since its 2016 founding, the company has expanded to include 16 clinics, three healthcare platforms, and a transport service for a lab and clinical samples. The fourth idea is the Play Business. Play Business was founded in 2014. The financial platform helps Mexican residents and Mexican people who don't live in Mexico but have a debit account with a Mexican bank invest their money in companies and projects. Number five, Recult. The Recult Farmer app gives developing world farmers free access to weather information and to satellite images to help assess the farm health the, the Ventures Recult X software uses machine learning and analytics to manage things like crop yield and sourcing. Uh, Recult was founded in 2016. The sixth was uh, Safi Organics. So it's founded in 2015. Kenya focused Safi works with more than 3,500 women owned small holder farms to produce organic fertilizer from agricultural waste. Number seven, Speeter. Speeter is a, a digital platform founded in 2017. The Libya focused venture offers healthcare related solutions for uh, patients, providers, clinics and community and government partners. So these are the seven startups or ventures that came from MIT in the years between 2014 to 2018, right? Tell me which are the ventures you believe that 
is going to be more successful in future because these all these ventures are uh, built in uh, developing economy uh, like African and Latin American like Mexico kind of scenarios right you tell me which one you like it which one you want to try in your country or in your you know a geographical location right I'm happy to know that right with that I'm signing off see you next video